What's going on guys? Welcome back. Tom here. Excited today because I'm going to show you guys how I came about my $10,000 a month product. Now there were so many things I checked with this product and I want to show you guys step by step how I got there because finding the right product as easy as it is, sometimes you want to dig deeper to make sure uh, you check into patents, to make sure you check into seasonality and profitability. So try to find as much stats as possible. So that's my goal today. I want you guys to learn the steps. I want you guys to implement it in your own Amazon FBA product research tools. And uh, let's see if it actually works. And I'm confident that you guys are gonna find your $10,000 product a month as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it, eh? All right, guys, welcome back. Now let's get started. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing in-depth research into product. Um, that uh, so that you guys can see what things I consider when I actually find my profitable products it is important now every step is gonna be slightly different for every product but like I mean the main concept is the same you got to follow these steps to make sure that you actually do your due diligence and uh, get the most information so that when you actually uh, start uh, manufacturing this product you know that it is gonna be profitable so that's the purpose of this video so like always, we are going to start with merchant words and uh, this is my go to. Um, I always uh, now something that's been happening, as you guys know, Toronto Raptors are in the finals. So I'm really excited about it. So I've been looking into products like basketball and gear. So um, let's try basketball for fun. All right. So what I'm going to use actually first is let's try ball. Let's try to keep the category as general as possible and let's see what comes up. All right. Give it a second. All right. So you will see that what kind of balls are searched with uh, that have the highest search volume over a month period. Um, as I've told you guys before, this is a month search volume around the world. Depth is basically our competition. See how competitive it is. And then, of course, if it's evergreen, you can sell it. If it's seasonal, I'll tell you. Now, you'll see that golf balls are actually searched the most, right? Soccer ball is second. Lacrosse ball is third. Let's see if our basketball is anywhere near. And so that we can get started on that. All right, so I wanted to do this like straight without having to do previous research because I want to show you guys in real time uh, how long it actually takes to find a product and what things to consider. So it doesn't look like basketball is anywhere near here. So, okay, so let's search into it anyways just because I'm interested in, in it. Um, but we'll come back and search something else if it doesn't turn out to be profitable. So uh, let's go back to our merchant words and we are going to type in basketball. It'll be interesting to see the search volume for this. All right, so just give it a second. Now I've tried to upload all my uh, tools that I'll be showing you guys so that I'm not wasting your time. Uh, we get into it right away kind of thing. So you'll see that uh, basketball is actually searched 2,947,000 times, which is actually pretty higher than what I thought it would be. The product is evergreen, which means it's not seasonal. So that's mostly because basketball is played indoors and outdoors. So um, it's an all year round product. It's in the sports and fitness category. Uh, and it, the depth is too, so which means that the basketball itself has a higher competition than some of the accessories like a basketball hoop or a basketball shorts or shoes. So um, let's choose something that has a little bit of a less competition, um, but um, at least a 10,000 monthly search volume so that we know that it, it is in demand. Um, I don't want to get into the shoes and apparel too much. All right, so let's see. Okay, basketball socks. Okay, that looks interesting to me. So maybe we will not do ball. Let's do basketball socks. Okay, so now I know that this one is searched 421,000 times in a month. Uh, the depth is six, which means competition is lower. Again, it's an evergreen product, which means that 
it is not seasonal it's all year round so I'm just gonna copy that let's go to our Amazon alright so let's type it in basketball socks alright so let's see what comes up alright so these are some of the top searches you get when you search for basketball socks on Amazon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually run jungle scout against it all kinds of pricing so it's okay that's fine all right so I know I said that I won't try to get into apparel but it's so hard sometimes because I know the product is in demand right uh, so let's run jungle scout against it see what comes up all right, it'll take a second for Jungle Scout to run the numbers and uh, show us some prices, profitability, revenue, uh, daily sales volume, monthly sales volume, the number of reviews these top searches have. So uh, what I'm looking for is to see how competitive this market is. And I want to see how many sellers are actually selling this product. Um, and um, so this will show you guys how many results right here. So I have 15 sellers so far. Some might be similar or the same seller trying to sell um, different list, through different listings. So okay, so we got 21 sellers. Not too bad um, on the top category for now. Actually, it's going, it's going up. All right, so let's take a look at some of the numbers. So we know that um, with 77 reviews, this one is doing 4,700, almost 5,000. Price is around $14, okay, so that's our, and this one is doing 23,000 with 200 reviews. I'm interested in something with lower reviews, uh, but um, higher revenue. Um, it does not look like this would be an item I wanna get into, just because of some of the lower numbers, it tells me that it's harder to break into that market and um, sales are not happening. And even though it's selling, it is selling at a bit of a mid-range price and I want I want a product that is between twenty to thirty dollars so I am gonna close that let's scratch that idea let's go back to our merchant words let's see what else we can do basketball hoop for kids okay this is in toys and games so this may actually this may actually uh, work or maybe I should just go Let's just try our basketball itself. Let's see. All right. Okay. All right. So there it is. The market is saturated with Spalding, so we know that's our big competitor right there. I mean, it's it's really it has monopolized the market, Wilson. Of course, they sell as well. That's another big brand um, that sells these basketballs. Um, so let's take a look and see uh, what Jungle Scott looks like against these sellers. And I also want to see if it's actually a brand name that's selling it or these are uh, Amazon sellers who are selling uh, or basically reselling these uh, products. So this is where it will tell me. Again, guys, this is just a pure, natural uh, product research video. Um, no scripted, nothing. I just wanted to be, uh, want you guys to be comfortable and want you guys to actually see what happens when I actually start doing my product research. So the seller is Amazon, okay, um, which means Amazon is selling this. So uh, this market might not be something we want to, okay, there is FBA. Let's see what the numbers look like. Oh, wow, 753 is doing $35,000. Pretty good, okay. So what is this selling? Glow light up. So it's a, some kind of a different product. Price range is good. Average monthly sales, okay, that's pretty good. Items, um, okay. But still, not the area I want to get into. Let's go back. Um, basketball hoop, okay, this sounds interesting. I know that it has over a million search volume, depth is third, it's evergreen again. So let's see if this one has any luck. All right. Okay, basketball hoop. So we're gonna keep it a bit general, see what comes up. All right.
Okay. So it's basically a basketball net. Um, not a bad price, okay. Alright, so let's run Jungle Scout against it and see what the numbers look like. Again, this is the extension, Chrome extension that I've installed and I've had for a long time and it's um, it's really handy. Um, just gives me the data, the backend data right off the bat. I don't have to go to different places. Uh, I really like that, that extension. So if you guys are wondering, um, get the light version. You don't need the pro version. It's about $97 for the year, but it's well worth it. And uh, you guys are going to love it. So link in the description below if you guys want it. So just check it out. Also for merchant words, I have 70% off. Uh, through one of my mentors so uh, check that link out as well it's gonna be a definitely a great deal for you guys so let's take a look wow look at this age reviews and it's doing hundred and seventy thousand dollars oh my god that's insane it's selling 570 units um, but it, the price is high so you guys see it's the, it's basically the full net and the body and everything so um, not an area I want to get into just because the price is a bit higher. Um, hmm. Okay. I think this product is a bust too for me. Okay. So let's key, continue our search and let's see what we can get. Hmm. Basketball net. So let's just get into the net. Maybe just the net by itself. I know that it's not going to be the hundreds of dollars. So. Um, let's start with that. Let's see if that product turns out to be an interesting one for us. All right. I don't want to go further until I find a product that really interests me because I don't want to do all that research for nothing. You know what I mean? And find out that, okay, I'm not going to be interested in it. All right. So let's take a look at some of these prices. So, um, the net itself is $23. So I guess, um, Amazon is reading it that it's a full net they're looking for. Okay. No, not what I want. Basketballs. Oh, basketball. Basketball hoop for kids. Okay, let's see. This could be something interesting, actually. So I have a good feeling about this one. Let's see. And this is what's going to happen, guys. Like, you're going to start looking into different items. You're not going to hit it the first time. You're going to start looking into different products and uh, see how much the prices are and uh, see what your price or what your comfort zone is and all that. So um, this is just the way the, the, the nature of the search. So, OK, maybe this is something I can get into. OK, some more different prices, maybe the 24, 25 range. This is what I'm looking for. So let's take a look at Jungle Scout. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm just waiting for some of the revenues to load because that's really going to tell me. Okay. So this one has 11 reviews and it's doing $15,000, $44 or $45. Okay. That's a price I can get into. Uh, and this one, what else we have? We have, um, we have 25 reviews and I'm waiting for the numbers of age reviews, almost $6,000. This is basically a indoor mini basketball hoop and ball. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, no pictures. And let's take a look at the other one, this one. Kids 3-in-1 Sports Center Basketball. Hmm, this one is interesting, okay. So maybe that's one product we can get into. This one has high reviews, is doing really good numbers, but high reviews. I don't want to get into too much competitive stuff. Um, age reviews, indoor mini basketball, we saw that. Okay, so. Hoop arcade game, let's see what this is. Okay, it's an arcade game. Huh, interesting. It's for kids. Now, oh, one thing I suggest is you stay away from electronics because electronics have a really high return ratio. So parts break down, 
customers return it and then it's at your own cost so um, as you guys know Amazon basically lets you absorb most of the cost so I would not get into electronics ever that's one thing I would passionately avoid okay kids three in one sports center so let's take a look at this kids three in one sports center okay I'm just gonna take that all right so actually let's let's go into it on Amazon and let's see what this looks like okay this is our listing now 44 45 dollars perfect not um, too high of a price range um, it's a toy again it's in the toy selection category so it's for kids now again it's gonna not gonna be seasonal because it's an indoor item or you they could use it outdoors so perfect so now let's start once we have found the product now we're gonna start looking into Alibaba to find manufacturers because uh, we want to see how much it actually costs for this item to be manufactured because we know the price range we know the price range is about forty five dollars but now we want to know how is, how much it costs to manufacture this because that will tell us whether we want to get into this product or no so so kids three and one go to Alibaba and then just search it now I recommend that you guys hit some tags that identify what kind of uh, seller um, you have on Alibaba because you want to make sure that these are trusted sellers so um, the tag that I have clicked in is trade assurance which tells me that um, the it is safe to do uh, financial transactions with this uh, with this buyer so I want to make sure that my money is not wasted okay so let's take a look and see if anything uh, that is listed here looks like what we were looking for okay training football okay looks like it's still loading a little bit okay outdoor high quality indoor playground amusement kids lights colorful okay no it does not look like uh, we're getting what we want okay so let's do that then let's uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the whole name and then we're gonna go to our Alibaba okay let's see if that helps Alibaba find the exact product that we were looking for okay All right, it does not look like uh, what we're looking for is here. So I am gonna nix this one. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board, Merchant Words. All right, so one of the items that um, we were looking at was um, soccer ball. Let's take a look at that when we searched for ball. All right, so. Uh, let's get rid of that go back to the ball category let's search something very popular now you also have to keep in mind how popular soccer is in here now a lot of kids play in schools and everything but it's not like a professional it is a professional sport here as well I mean you got the Toronto FC and all that but it's not as popular as it would be in Europe so if you're a seller in Europe this is a perfect item for you um, but if you're in North America might be a little bit harder but again like I think um, there is enough recreational uh, uses for this that uh, it doesn't need to be a very well-known sport it's still very popular among kids so uh, it's I think it's still gonna be a good uh, good products so golf balls golf is huge so maybe that's one actually let's do golf balls that's interesting now the competition is high because I'm sure a lot of people would be selling this soccer ball is a little bit better uh, yoga ball okay bowling ball hmm yoga ball that's interesting so that's your uh, fitness ball uh, that you can buy hmm okay let's take that yoga ball make it interesting I still want the competition to be low because if the competition is high 
there's no point really getting into it. Um, it's going to be very hard for you guys to crack into the market and um, sell this item. So again, it's all business decision. Um, you have to you have to make sure that you do your research properly and take your time with it like I'm doing right now. Like I'm not really uh, I'm not really like getting frustrated or anything. I don't want to find it right away because I just want to take my time and that's what a yoga ball looks like. Okay, that's something I can get. And let's check out some of the pricing. Okay, yeah, it's pretty decently priced. Let's run Jungle Scout against it. All right. Okay, let's take a look at some of these numbers before we um, get into our research on uh, Alibaba to find manufacturers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm really interested to know the revenues. Okay, market looks better. Okay, so you got 76 for 8. Man, that's pretty good actually. Um, 237 reviews, $32,000. That's They're doing pretty good. All right, so these ones are higher, so it's a bit harder to compete with those guys. Okay, so let's take a look. Hey, if we price this properly, I think we can really break into this market. Um, hmm, I'm just trying to see what else I... Oh, look at this, guys. Two reviews and it's doing almost $7,000. Exercise ball. Mind, body, so exercise ball. Mm, exercise ball. Okay. So that's what we want to maybe get into. Exercise ball. So yoga ball, exercise ball, whichever one. So this one looks like it's it could be a winning product for us. It's selling about 11 units a day and uh, 330 units in a month. So that's pretty good number to start with. So let's now go to our Alibaba and we're gonna get rid of this all right so we're gonna type in exercise ball all right okay there it is perfect look at the prices guys like I think we just hit a jackpot now this is manufactured in China. It's a verified seller. Perfect. That's beautiful. Um, it's uh, three diamonds. Okay, good. Eco-friendly, customized color inflatable, exercise stability, yoga balance ball. So that's what it is. The cost to manufacture this is between dollar fifty and three U.S. dollars. So what I'm gonna do is just for the sake of um, simplicity and also to make sure I do my projections conservatively, uh, I'm gonna say that okay it costs us about three dollars to manufacture this and we can sell it for about how much do we see it for it was selling for about twenty one dollars okay twenty one dollars on average uh, average price is about nineteen dollars so we're gonna say since this is twenty one let's say twenty dollars we're gonna stick there and we can manufacture it for three dollars I'm just gonna get my calculator ready on my phone of course so that when we get started with the numbers all right so now that we found the supplier oh uh, and which i actually talk about how to contact and how to dig deeper into supplier in my third video i'm gonna put the link down below as well so you guys have that uh for reference too in one place now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to an amazon fulfillment calculator so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna figure out what my profit will be with this product so um, what first we're gonna do is we're gonna find out um, exercise balls so I'm just gonna try another product you can get the ASIN number enter here or you can just um, since it's a popular item I'm just gonna exercise ball I'm just gonna enter the name search all right so this is the one that looks like what we're looking for or either this one so let's start with this one okay all right okay so that's some of the details of this product that's currently selling on Amazon dimensions and everything so product details is right there so we're gonna price our product for $20 
All right, that's what we decided. Um, shipping costs. Shipping costs usually is going to be about half of your um, half of your uh, basically manufacturing cost. So if we're going with a three dollar manufacturing cost, we're going to put dollar fifty for shipping. Um, that's how much it'll cost to bring per unit uh, to an Amazon uh, fulfillment center. So remember, guys, that part of shipping is on you guys where amazon takes care of and where the fees cover us once it gets to an amazon warehouse then the pick pack and shipping from there to customer that's what amazon fba covers so keep that in mind guys a lot of people make confusion between the two cost of the product will say cost was three dollars that's how much um it cost us to um uh, basically manufacture the product so let's calculate these numbers all right so let's take a look so if we're selling it at twenty dollars and um, uh, our fulfillment by Amazon fees is going to be about 620 so that's how much it'll cost um, once it gets to an Amazon warehouse for Amazon to pick pack and ship it for you guys per item um, our uh, shipping cost to bring it to an Amazon FBA warehouse is dollar fifty so total fulfillment cost basically 770 um seller proceeds so we're basically making nine dollars and thirty cents um on the product but we have to deduct our cost of the product so at the end we're basically making six dollars and thirty cents profit per unit which is about 32 percent of our uh, price pretty good um i usually like to be more on the 40 percent but um 30, 32% is pretty good. So $6.30, that actually looks good to me. So what I'm going to do is now go back and um, check out, where was I? Right here, my Jungle Scout. So I'm making $6.30 per unit. And on average, we're selling about $11.90 a month. So I'm not going to go on the higher side. I'm going to go based on what I saw here. So it's selling 11 units per day. 11 units times six dollars and what was the number again 30 cents six dollars and 30 cents right so that's 69.3 dollars so that's basically almost 70 dollars in profit you guys gonna make when you start out with this product so that is basically 70 dollars times 10 days you're may looking at about 700 times 30 days which is your one month you're looking at about about twenty one hundred dollars in profit so if you do the same consistent sales, so 2100 times 12, so over a year you'll make $25,000, 200 out of this product. So imagine that you guys for your startup, that will be amazing, $25,000 a year from your first product. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Now, I again, I said I would like this to be more like towards the 40% range for profit, but nonetheless, this product works for me. I like it. I think there's a good market for it. A lot of people are uh, building home gyms. This is not just for kids. This is also for like adults. So there, it's a product that's a little bit more universal, which I like because um, the more uses for it, the better. It can be used actually a lot of places are using these kind of balls in offices to sit because that apparently helps with your core. So uh, a really, really interesting product for me. So. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we know that this product is not seasonal, first of all, because it's an indoor item. But the last thing we're going to do is we have to check if it's patented or not. And I suggest you guys always, always, please check this before you get started because you don't want to be disappointed. So it's an exercise ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google patent. So if you guys don't know this, Google as a search engine for patents. Google makes it a lot easier for us. Google patents. So, okay. So let's take a look and let's see if there are any patents associated with this. All right. I'll give it a second. So it is an exercise ball. I doubt, I doubt this uh, product is uh, patented, but let's just make sure if anything looks similar to us in the search. Uh, let's see. Hmm. exercise ball mounted for rotation so you guys can see that like in the first few there is no like 
exact just for exercise ball there one people have patented for like when they figured out a different use for it and all but not exactly for a general product so perfect this is good that's all i wanted to know so there you have it guys like now it i know it took me a little bit of time to find this but you want to do your due diligence you want to make sure you cover your basis so that when you're getting into this product and you're investing your money that it's going to be worth it so i want you guys to always analyze wow sounds like a ferrari outside i want you guys to always analyze and uh, do your research do your due diligence make sure that you're happy with the product make sure it's a product that is a need and not a want all the time because i uh, that's how you know there will be demand for it and make sure that the competition is not too stiff because on amazon nobody talks about it but if the competition is too stiff it's a lot harder for beginners to build sales and build get reviews and actually move on to move um, their rank up on the page so that's why we do all this research and that's why we want to make sure that we set ourselves up for success so that's it guys and i'm gonna see you guys on friday for my next video i'm really excited it's gonna be a surprise one for you guys so check it out again drop your comments below if you haven't uh, already uh subscribed please subscribe i really appreciate your viewership and guys let me know let me know what else you want to see and the things that i'm doing right now i know that you guys asked me if i can do a deeper dive into product research so that's what i'm doing I'm showing you guys my tricks and uh, that's it guys so just let me know drop it in the comments below let me know by if it's social media if it's uh, on YouTube whatever and I'm gonna take this channel based on what we're gonna talk about so again thank you I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and connecting with you I'll see you guys on Friday bye